All right, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another Undisputed video and another request coming in today and a donation request coming in. This one coming in from my man, Northern Smog, and he's dropping a 10 ducat donation. Look at this, £10 donation. Thank you very much, mate. I really appreciate that. That's very, very kind of you. We've got Christmas coming up and everything. You're buying people presents, and here you are throwing 10 ducats at old liver shot. That's very, very kind of you, mate. I really, I really appreciate that. And your request was, he wants me to play as Enzo Macaronelli. There's Enzo's stats. If you want to pause and have a look, you can have a look at all that. And he wants me to go against Roy Jones Jr. Now, this is going to be a hard challenge, this. I know why he's, he's done this challenge. He said he's done it himself and it, it, it kicked his ass a little bit. But I think he has done it. And he wants me to play Roy on Undisputed, which I do all the time, but he wants me to put it on Simulation, which is, um, yeah, yeah, all the HUD is gone, so there's no looking at um, stamina. You can't tell when you've hit your opponents. I've got all the sort of, uh, the dazed effect turned off anyway, so I don't get any, like, sound or, so you can't see anything. There's no HUD, but also, when you put it on Simulation, you'd have to do very accurate blocking you have to use the access blocking and you have to like defend your head properly and your body properly both sides left and right so this is going to be very very difficult this uh, damage modifier on one and a half i wouldn't be surprised if i get my ass beat here but we'll see how we go let's go i have already tried this previously off camera i got beat the first time and then roy beat uh, sorry roy beat me the first time he stopped me and then i beat him on a decision but then I wasn't recording, so I've had to do this for the third time I'm doing it now. Like a but here we are. Let's see if we can get it done. They are vocal here tonight. Alongside me, English fighting Thank you again Johnny for that Nelson. donation, mate. Talk I really appreciate that. Go and check out Northern Smog's channel, by the way. He plays uh, plays this game and he plays online against real people. So if you want to see some online play of this game and some good, some good play as well, go and watch Northern Smog's channel. At Give him a sub. Kilos. He's 180 centimeters tall. But why I, man? Thanks for your donation, like. Your 10, 10 quid donation for liver shot. Love the Geordies. Love the lads from the northeast. Get on dead well with the Scousers and that. And us up the northwest, so. Always a good laugh. When you speak to a Geordie. Enzo, the Big Mac Macronelli. This man won the WBO Cruiserweight Championship of the World, an Italian that fights out of Swansea, United Kingdom. Roy Jones Jr., one of the greatest of all time, Pensacola's finest, an undisputed champion at four different weight classes. Look at this. These fires are so up for it. Look at that. Well, we're all set. Let's go into the ring for the classy Jimmy Lennon Jr. This right, says Jimmy Lennon Jr. I feel introductions. Of boxing. In the red corner, hailing from Swansea in Wales, here is a cruiserweight world a champion, the very popular Enzo Big Mac Macaronelli. Fighting out of the blue corner from Pensacola, Florida. Here is a middleweight, a super middleweight, a light heavyweight, and a heavyweight champion of the world, Roy Jones Jr. A lot of trash talk between these two fighters. Now it's time to put up or shut up. This is one of my favorite venues. Get the right fight, you got a night of fun. So they stare into each other's eyes one final time, touch gloves, and get prepared for battle. What a fight we expect. All right, this so this should be, be like a, an exercise in patience for me. I shouldn't be uh, as aggressive, maybe, as I have in, in some of the other fights. I'll have to be jab. very careful not to get caught in this range here where the AI will uncork a load of shots to the body and do a shitload of damage because it's, it's definitely doing more damage than the player since this last update it definitely has that uh, feeling of lethality to it for sure but it feels a little bit a little bit imbalanced 
uh, unbalanced, should I say. I feel like it's, it's definitely doing way more damage than the player is. Make no mistake, I will definitely be going down in this fight. The AI will definitely drop me. Exchanges from both men in this round. Hey, those punches add up. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other. Because no one just so conscious now of getting caught to the body in this close range like this, or to the head. It just it only takes a couple of shots. It's defend yourself at all times for the AI to rock you know. themselves at all. Like nice there, those exchanges are where it's really dangerous for me. A very competitive round with ten seconds left. Let's talk about Mac Grinnell. They've got the momentum, they've got the advantage. Here we go, it's round two. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. All the talking has been done. It's time Just to start to sort doing of like the walking. Make him miss. Can you imagine walking into this tug? Walking into and then trying to get him with like a pull counter up across or something. Your name. You can't even hear your corner man whispering in your ear. I've been in situations like that where it can be terrible. God, Enzo is fucking. If you haven't got your wits he's not the quickest. Like he feels slow to use, which is a uh, not the ideal Good boxer for me to use. I prefer the the fast, snappier fighters, but. And so it doesn't feel like snappy or fast. He misses with that jab. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. This counter puncher is gonna wait for you to move first, and then we'll strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. They have got great ring IQ. Counter punches are the best. Oh, see, those body Can't shots are just so fucking damaging from the AI. Be on this. You've got to be on it. You've got to be a pro. You've got to think right. Concentrate. Sometimes when you're fighting a counter fighter, the rounds can get a little boring. You get trigger shy because you know if you throw a punch, one is coming right back at you. Punch. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Good counter punch. Yeah. Let's talk about Mac Grinnell. Pretty oh, dominant nice. round. Nice. don't do anything stupid. Stand in front of so him for too complacent. long. You think this is too easy if they keep this same kind of but if I stand there in front of him, like I say, it only takes about well, no two or three about hard hooks to the body. The oh, there's one. a nice pull counter up a cup, but not undoing though. A counter fighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. If you're fighting a counter puncher, you've got a dummy shot. Make them react from that, then react them. I <laughs> don't know what Roy was trying to do play, there. But counter punchers are watching you, watching your every move, that every throw. And he just missed with that left jab. That's another scoring shot. Lands with the right counter. Good counter left hand there. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. I hope this fighter realizes that defense is one of the scoring criteria in boxing.
Timing beats speed. Speed beats power. He threw the hook, didn't land. Do you believe what we are seeing? It's quite unbelievable, Todd, isn't it? <laughs> like what we're seeing, it's 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 unbelievable. Like I can't believe what I'm seeing. It's all offense all the time. A very competitive round with ten seconds left. Let's talk about Mac Grinnell. Talk about a one-sided three minutes. We Here we go in round four. He's going well, to win up, the first big change. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum oh. going. Beautiful. This is the oh, beautiful right up a cut left can up. He rocked him. It. Can he take control and put him out? I mean, Roy, <laughs> it's just fucking taking them shots. I don't see any movement here. It looks just like constant right, straight, over. left hooks. See it in their eyes. They saw that punch coming, and there was nothing they could do. But that granite chin finally gave way. I mean, look at that. Look at him just taking them like a fucking boss. Look, <laughs> he's just fucking eating those punches. Oh, and that bottom rope, like a little fluffy pillow there for Roy to just lest his weary head on. Well, they're back up on their feet, but I'm not sure why. One of the best attributes to have in he's rolling. Oh, the hit him again. He's coming up aces here, but can he seal the deal? Oh, that changes everything. And, down and it's the go. left hook that drops him this I time. Think that will keep him more dramatic in slow motion. Oh, just again, eating just hammers left and right. Oh, and he's going back to that fluffy, fluffy uh, bottom rope pillow again. Maybe that bottom rope's like his little safe space. <laughs> feels uh, feels com secure underneath all the, the rest of the three ropes there. the corner may have to intervene here because this fighter won't stay down oh and a one two he came out aggressive there oh, and, that changes everything. and another knockdown and down and I wasn't expecting this to go like this just caught him with that combination early on before, before these knockdowns started happening it's just that's what starts everything, really. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have done. I have done like a couple of um, test fights before I've recorded this one to see how. If I could do this against Roy on this difficulty on simulation, and Roy beat me the first one, and then I beat him the second one, we pulled it back, we went to a decision. But this is looking like an entirely different fight. He's been knocked down, but at least not knocked out yet. Can make or break a fighter. I wish I would have recorded the press record on the previous fight that I had because that was like. Bit back and forth, and went all the way up to the 12th round. I got knocked down, down about round. three times, I here. think, in total. I that think it was. Down we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if well, I don't want to get too uh, overconfident. I mean, he could That's just like come back and just fucking drop me at any minute. Good counter punching. Oh, god, this. Oh, and he's rocked me with a liver shot there. Oh, and a run in left upper cut to the head. <laughs> Fucking just ran in. Here, his face melts into and his a 
power oh, left uppercut up the middle. Just changing things on a dime. And we're, we're on the receiving end of a fucking knockdown. Out of nowhere. Just that, that body shot just stunned me out of nowhere. Like the amount of counter shots I've hit him with. And he's not been fucking stunned. And he hits me with one left up to the body. And I'm fucking rocked. <laughs> that fucking AI damage is way skewed in terms of the player, but like I say, it so they'll make it, up it adds the element of danger for sure, but like it, it just feels a bit uh, a bit unbalanced. Great counter right hand oh, there. nice uh, right up a cut to the body, left up up top combination there. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. The corners must be so, so happy. Down to a T, play the plan out to a T. If they can pick up momentum and do this over and over and over again, they've got it. Still swinging with nothing left. This fighter is sort of the death by a thousand paper cuts approach. He'll hit you a thousand times before you can land one. What you've got to do, Toddy, is anticipation. You've got to wait. You've got to. You just got to throw caution to the wind and just hope you're never going to know where the shots are oh, coming from. Nice combination there. Nice. What a nice oh, it's hit again. So final ten seconds of the round, and he is looking really sharp. Let's talk about Mac Grinnell, where this next round is going to be crucial considering the knockdown we just witnessed. Let's start the six. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. What a knockdown. You know in the corner now, they're saying, when you get out there, jump on him. Do not give him chance to breathe. Bully him. Throw him. Push him down. Bully him. Oh. Oh. oh, and a brutal right up of Colton Roy gets another knockdown for some reason. take another look at that. All right, we just Roy just gets gifted a knockdown. Didn't even get rocked. Just Roy lands a, an uppercut and a flash knockdown is awarded. One, two, Felt a little bit three, random to me. Four, five, six, seven, eight. As with a lot, a lot of the flash knockdowns, they feel very, very random to me. And look at that, we were fucking destroying him there. We had like three knockdowns up and now we're fucking been knocked down twice. Oh, hard shot to the body from Roy. This match took a bit of a turn. Oh, that punch. Good counter punching for both these athletes. Perfect game plan. The thing is, can anybody figure out what to do to change this? The perfect start. We're at the halfway point. There's no doubt who's won this round so far. Catch and shoot. Oh, nice combination. Right up a cut, left up. See, do you not think like a pull counter right up a cut would, would have been more of a reason to give like a flash stun there than just some, some of the earlier rounds, just an uppercut that you throw in the middle of a combination that and then that gives you the flash knockdown? This could be really intimidating, Todd, if you know somebody's got the... They're in oh, trouble. left up, right, straight hits him. But somehow what can he finish the job? And the oh, and the left up again Ten drops Roy off up. the jab. I don't see any movement here. It looks like this one's going to be over. Oh, my goodness. I want to see that one more time. Well, ask and I shall receive, Todd. You'll fucking get to see it again, mate. Oh, big left hook around the guard there. Off the jab. Right straight, just missed. up on nine is Roy he might have one more knockdown in him probably both got one more knockdown in us I don't know if I'll get up off another one Let's talk about Mac I can normally get up for three knockdowns and then I'll, I can never get up off a, off a fourth one 
And I can't always get up off three. Sometimes it's only two. There's the bell to start round seven. Both fighters knocked down in the last round. What do we have in store for us in this one? That is showing the fitness. That is showing the stamina. That is showing the Oh, beautiful. Pull counter uppercut. And a one two after it. Oh, lovely pull counter uppercut again. How many pull counters do I have to hit him with? Just stun him. Oh, both land and left there. The old adage is no matter how much speed you've got, timing beats speed. Having so much speed, what happens to your opponent is. Oh, shot to the body from Roy. That's why the ref's going to shit on a fucking damage. And you know this is going to happen. So See, he got, he got awarded like a counter hit for that, and I hadn't even thrown a, sh a strike. He just like hit me with a counter. Like, is it because I was leaning backwards? Does that, does that mean you get like a counter window if you, if you just lean back like that? Changes from both men in this round. What a punch! They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Roy's doing all kinds of weird shit. Not a lot of defense here at all. There is a little bit of jank I'm noticing in this game. Like, it was janky anyway, but like, like the AI is, is doing some janky shit since this hot fix. He misses with that jam. Good left counter that lands. Oh, look at those like double right hands. Like how quick that, that was. One will count. A very competitive round with ten seconds left. Let's talk about Macronelli. Well, there was no doubt about who won that round. The damage he's done to the body. And they're back at it again here in round eight. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Nice job landing that oh, left beautiful count. counter up a cut there from the right. It's so important for these two fighters because it allows them to... Oh, fucking gum shield just went flying in the tenth row. Did the trick. Let's oh, see it I was going to say, I felt my uppercut should have landed there, but I think he stepped off an angle there. Like, I threw a... Yeah, he did. He stepped off. Nice knockdown. I tried to throw the right uppercut. He stepped off and landed the left uppercut. That was nice. Can I get up? That's the question. One, two... Oh, fucking hell. Barely. If I go down one more time, it's over. At some point, the corner may have to intervene here because this fighter won't stay down. Nice counter shot. Oh, so he just he hit me with a counter straight away there. Like, I didn't even throw a punch and he gets awarded a counter punch to the body. How does that work? Another scoring so shot you can only there. counter somebody no when they've thrown a punch. You <laughs> how do you, you, how do you counter going someone when not on, not on his throne? And he just misses with that jab. That left counter punch will score. Timing beats speed. Speed beats power. Fucking Todd Grisham pulling out all of his favourite fucking Conor McGregor quotes for this one. Big shots from both of these fighters. Got to be careful though. So final 10 seconds of the round and he is looking really sharp. Let's talk about Macronelli. Let's see how the game plan changes after that big knockdown. Fucking hell, Enzo look, looking like he's having a tough time in the corner there. And there's the bell for round nine. Let's see how he bounces back Can we survive till the end? Todd, listen to me. 
If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything. Oh, everything. big left uppercut from Roy. Full because I know his legs are gone. So this, you watch what's going to happen. If he doesn't, I'll be very, Oh, very pull counter surprised. left up lands. Pull counter right up or cut lands. Still not dazed. Build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through. It. There we go. Caught. Finally, fucking hell. Oh, and the power straight down the middle off the left hook. That might be it. We wondered how good his chin was, but no one's Bang, chin power straight. Up to that shot. Beautiful combination. Is that going to be it for Roy, or has he got another one in him? He got up on nine last time. I think whoever gets this knockdown next is, is it's one. I think it's either I've won it now, or if he gets up again and knocks me down, he's won. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <sighs> fucking hell. Well, we got him out of there. That was fucking hard, though. That was really hard. I can see why you recommended that one to me, Northern Smog. Cheers for that, mate. Thanks for your recommend uh, sorry, your request. And thank you very much for your ten pound donation. Ten ducats for old liver shot off the very generous Northern Smog. Thanks very much, mate. I really appreciate that. That'll be going in the tip jar. Go and check out Northern Smog's channel as well if you like Undisputed. He plays this. He's uh, he's been uploading some some online matches over the cut uh, the past few months so if you like undisputed online matches go and have a look at northern smog check his channel out why i mate i appreciate the donation like Pre love the geordies thanks very much mate i really appreciate it anyone got any requests stick them in the comments and i'll get to them as soon as i can but for now i'm gonna leave it there thanks very much for watching everyone take care and i'll see you in the next one